Hi everyone, we just want to give you a, an update on uh, today's events. It's now 25 past three and uh, instead of being 25 minutes into the game and hopefully a couple of goals up, Dennis and I are sitting here in an empty stadium, a full bar but an empty stadium. Um, I'm disappointed, I'm not going to say too much about it, um, but Dennis was more involved in, in, in getting the pitch ready and with the referee, so maybe you just go through um, why this game was on at one o'clock and it was still on at quarter to three, then all of a sudden it was off then. It, it was just the case that Daventry turned up, they, as soon as they went on the pitch they had the um, Actually, is probably the right word, but they got it in their minds that the pitch wasn't playable, um, and they have that right to do so. But the ref had put the pitch playable; he was happy with it, and it weren't like he was even sceptical about it. He said, "I'm perfectly happy with the conditions." So the game was now on. Um, I went over and had a chat with Mark because they um, was putting the ref under a lot of pressure, um, and not just singly. There was always a group. So I went over and had a chat and just said, look, let's go out, warm up, and if we're not happy with a um, pitch, then we can make another decision and help the referee with a decision. Um, so we went out and warmed up, and like any most players, that when you go out on the pitch, you look forward to going football on a Saturday, and you go out and you think, yeah, it ain't 100%, but we can still play this game today, and our players felt they wanted to play. Um, they came out, warmed up, within five minutes, they picked their cones up, and gone back in the dressing room and said they're not going to play. So they've then come out and put the ref under pressure again. They've worn away <laughs> an error of the pitch and said that the ref there's a sheet of ice there. Um, five minutes later, we've come over and thrown a cup of tea on it, and that sheet of ice was then just a lump of mud. So that wasn't an issue. But at the, I mean, at the end of the day, there was a lot of pressure put on the ref, and the right decision in the end would be to call the game off because you don't know how it's going to go after that, and you don't want the referee having to ref a game, and God forbid if there is an injury, yeah. that the referee comes under scrutiny. So the best thing in the end was mm. for the game to be called off. So I said to Mark and the referee, um, we'll, we'll get the game off. Um, so we called the game off. And as we stand, it's probably the right decision because definitely both teams couldn't give 100% today, but the game could have been played. We could have had a game of football, but it certainly wouldn't have been 100%. Yeah, and you know, the effort, of the sterling effort of the pitch, and if we look at the pitch now, and just if Adam can pan over it, you can see um, just what this pitch is like. And there's a lot of sterling effort went into it by a lot of people. So what we're doing is we're, we're put this one behind us. Um, it was playable, um, we made a lot of effort, the referee was put under some serious pressure. Um, we've both been in to see the referee and thanked him for his efforts and what he'd done. Um, it's very commendable of you, Dennis, for, as well, saying, you know, um, you took a lot of pressure off the referee, um, you helped him, um, your suggestion of let's warm up and see how we go, let's get into it for 10 minutes and we'll see how we go, um, he was very grateful for that, but with this uh, public liability, health and safety and all these sort of things, you know, um, players only got to go over and that'll be it, you know. Yeah, you know, Mike, I've played in many football matches where I couldn't give 100% because of the pitch conditions. Now, whether that's because it's nearly waterlogged and it's thick full of mud and I can't get across the turf quick enough, <coughs> or whether it's rock hard, or yeah. whatever it might be, today was one of them conditions where both teams couldn't play 100%. You know, but the game could have been played. So let's just get that straight. The game could have been played, but it wouldn't have been 100% for both teams. But both teams have got the same conditions. It's whoever adapts to it best, whoever applies the best mental attitude, will come out and win this football match. Our football team was totally focused to try and get three points today. And on the other side of the coin, you know, Daventry didn't want to play the game. They so. didn't want, they weren't focused at all. They weren't up for it at all. But in saying that, you know, it could have been to their advantages and give them a bit of a leveller. Definitely, it would have you know, favoured them more. It would have sure. favoured them more, but anyway, this situation's over. What I want to talk about, I want to, I want to say to um, everybody out there, what a sterling effort. Um, I just said to the Cambridge Evening News and the Hunts Post that, you know, the last half hour hasn't been anything great because we are, we're not we're sitting here and we're not watching a football match after all the efforts that everybody's put in. But the last 24 hours um, has been unbelievable. 
I, I, and I really mean that. Um, it's been one of the best 24 hours in this club, this club since I've been here. Um, the camaraderie, people coming here, everybody helping, everybody getting together. I've never seen anything like it. And I've had so many comments from people who are not actually associated with the club about the sterling efforts we've put into this um, and what we've done. And I just want to thank everybody out there for what you've done. It's a shame we haven't seen a game of football, but let's look on the bright side in the fact that, you know, it's brought us all together even more. It showed what we can do. Um, I think our efforts are being shown around the country, whether it's on Twitter or on Facebook, or they're looking wherever they're looking, um, and they've seen what we've tried to attempt as a group, as a team of all of us. Um, so thanks everybody for that. It's been a great, great effort, and let's not be too disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, I've enjoyed it, Mike. To be fair, last 24 hours, and we've learnt a lot. You know, I think in future we'll have games on down here that we wouldn't generally have had on. We've got a nice bit of equipment in now. We'll probably add to it, and we'll be we'll be using that again for sure. Yeah, I didn't know whether to believe in it or not to be honest with you then but when I when we come up here yesterday afternoon and we started getting it going it was great and then when I kept seeing these people turn up and it was a Friday night uh, a cold Friday night and as I put in our report last night you know I can't believe what people did it's a Friday night they go out or they had a hard week's work I don't know I think generally they're stuck indoors with a wife and it was a chance of getting out <laughs> no, of the local club <laughs> no no I, I don't agree with that you know it was the love of the club and people coming up and they were so friendly and everybody put a great effort into it and yeah, they, they was all brilliant. working as a team you know off the pitch as well as what we do on the pitch and you know this puts us in good stead for going forward it's it's fantastic effort by everybody and again I want to thank everybody for what they've done Ab absolutely fantastic superstars that was fantastic yep thanks we'll see you next game hopefully you get three points cheers